What's up, everyone? I'm going to start my day three of painting this, this portrait here. Um, yeah. I know it's very late, but, you know, got to do what you got to do. I'm going to turn on the chat over here so I can see what everybody is saying. So give me just a second before I get started. And I wish I could turn on music while I paint, but um, I'm not sure they would allow that on YouTube. Should be able to see what's going on now. Robert says, have to finish clearing a truck on for a while. Yeah, I'll be on for a while. I'm gonna work on this for a bit. So y'all can stay up late with me. How's everybody doing? Go ahead and comment. So I, I, I had somebody tell me about Super Chat the other day, so I think I set it up, I'm not sure. I guess it's like a, a tip system. So as far as I understand, Super Chat is a way for you to uh, support the channel, kind of like tipping. Um, so you just like, I guess you click on the dollar sign if I'm not mistaken and uh you can donate money and then it makes your chat really big and and um you can it, it adds it to the video and it's a fun thing so we're just trying it out i'm just learning all this stuff all right do you guys like the angle better today Okay, I'm just trying to get everything set up. All right, let's go. So today I think I'm gonna try to work on, I'm gonna finish the nose out and probably go ahead and try, see how far I can get on the snout. Maybe hopefully get the whole face uh, and the bottom lip done and then we'll work on the ball. But we'll see. Maybe we'll get it all done. I don't know. About to knock one of my paintings over. I'll be just a second. All right. Somebody give me a hi or what's up so I can see if my chat is going live. If you can, anyway. Can everybody hear me?
See if I can zoom that in a little better. And now I'm just painting all the all the dark parts behind the whiskers. This is definitely pro this is among probably the hardest part of the tattoo, or I would say more tedious. I keep calling them tattoos. I, I when I'm tattooing, I say airbrush. When I airbrush, I say tattoo. I feel like I should get like a headphones just in one ear. Alright, see so John's on. Uh, they say loud and clear. Yes, awesome. Wonder how fast it takes for a for a comment to pop up on my end. So if you guys ever see me stop, it's because I'm looking back and I'm reading the chat. And for those of you that are here that maybe weren't here for the beginning of this, uh, this is a completely freehand piece. Um, no stencils were used. I just started copying from here. I did put a, a little bit of a grid on there just to make sure that my proportions stayed, you know, inside the frame. You know, I didn't want to start painting it and then it, you know, it'd be too big or too small. And so, I used a grid to kind of just make sure everything kind of stayed where I wanted it to be. People who know me know I like to freehand a lot of things if I can. I don't use any like stencils or anything anymore. I mean, I do, I guess if, if it calls for it, I will, but for the most part, I try to avoid it. Now I'm trying to just get all the whiskers where they need to be and all the like little hairs around the nozzle and muzzle. Um, and then I'll go ahead and shade behind them. That way it all kind of makes a little bit of sense. I think tomorrow or something, I think tomorrow we're gonna do a live Q and A for the patrons. Uh, if you go to my Patreon, if you're, um, if you're one of the top tier patrons, then we'll do a live Q&A. Basically, if you have any technical questions for me, or if you have any issues with airbrushing, or painting, or art, or tattoos even, and you wanted, um, you wanted some more intimate discussion about it, what I do is I set up a, I set up a blank piece of paper here, and whatever issue you might be having, 
I try to solve that issue for you the best I can right there live during the live Q&A. And that's, we're going to do that tomorrow night. And uh, Faith will probably post about it um, probably tonight or tomorrow so you know what time that's going down. Like I said, we're going to have a, uh, we're going to have a set schedule eventually. We just haven't got that sorted out yet. We're just kind of, right now we're just kind of dipping our toes in the water with the whole, you know, getting back on YouTube and everything and uh, just trying to figure out what works. So bear with us as we kind of learn how this all goes down. If you have any questions for me right now, you can go ahead or comments or anything. <clears throat> oh, and if anyone wants to share the link to this video, uh, I can't right now because obviously I'm painting, but if you want to share the link to this video on Facebook, um, maybe I can reach over and share it real quickly, but... Actually, I can't. My phone is up here. I'm going to throw the charger on my phone real quick so it doesn't die today. Sorry if it's a little bouncy. It'll calm down in a second. So I was telling everybody the past few days, I've got a new batch of paint coming with all different colors and things, and I'm gonna play a lot with it and do some different paint demonstrations, uh, like with some of the Createx colors. And so we're gonna play a lot and show off a lot of different effects and stuff. That'll be in future live streams. So, the plan is to have a much better production value here. So I ordered a, I ordered some parts and some different things that are gonna help with, um, with the live streams and, and make them look far more professional. Right now, just to kind of kick it off, I've been just using my phone. But uh, maybe here in a week or so, we might have something a lot cooler set up. So I appreciate you all being here. Babe, did that say? Bait Art Studio shared it. Thank you very much. Yeah, if you guys want to share it, share it on Iwata's page too. If you guys are a member of that on Facebook or Createx or whatever. Here. I'll be going for a while, so there's plenty of time. I'm sorry if I butcher the names when I'm trying to read them. The chat's pretty far away and I have to lean over and read it really quickly. And I can't read. That's also a thing too. Just kidding, I can read. Read good. Mm -hmm. 
Got my buddy Alex back there. He's drawing a picture behind me and he's trying to make comments, but he can't because he doesn't have a very loud voice. Come on, man, speak up. What are you doing? I think he's taking pictures. So when we get going, Alex is gonna help set up um, the, the live stream. Uh, to make it more professional and all that. He's good with that kind of shit. What are you saying? Alex is working on a drawing, trying to get his uh, realism skills down. So I'm not really going on this painting. I'm not going for like hyper realism. I'm going for more of a, like I want it to look like a painting. I want it to be kind of obvious that it's a painting. So I'm kind of leaving room for interpretation in a few parts. If you happen to be watching this video after the live stream, please leave a comment. It helps out a lot. And then uh, click the bell and the, um, like of course follow and then click the bell so you're notified the next time I go live. If you wanna be involved in the chat, um, I can answer questions for you guys. Um, yeah, you can play along. So uh, this painting that I did is actually or that I'm working on right now is actually from one of my Patreon patrons. I hate this word saying that from Patreon. And um, yeah, he suggested I do this painting of his friend's dog. And um, I think it's his friend's dog. Um, and I thought it was a really neat picture. So I chose it. So I thought, man, that would be a pretty cool idea for these live streams if, if I reserve the paintings that I did for some of my patrons uh, that way they can be more involved and then they can get a painting out of the deal. Um, basically, it's kind of like I pick my favorite submission and then I paint it. So in this case, it's this one right here. And if I pick yours, you get a painting. No extra charge. So if you know anyone that would like a painting like this done, if they got cool pictures or cool pet photos or they think they'd appreciate it, let them know. Or join the patron and submit their photos. Maybe they'll get picked and if they get picked, they'll get a painting.
So a lot of people ask me when I'm in these chats what kind of airbrush I'm using or when I'm in these live streams. Um, right now I'm using uh, Iwate Eclipse HPCS um, and my paint is Createx Illustration Colors. And that's it. They always ask, people like to ask what canvas I'm using. I'm actually using just some board that I got from um, Hobby Lobby. For those of you who don't know, if you're from another country or something, Hobby Lobby is just a kind of a craft store here in the U.S. I think they make most of their money on selling like fake plants and stuff like that. But there's this little section in the back for crafts. We can buy airbrush paint and airbrushes and canvas, and different art supplies. This part right here is kind of confusing. There's a lot going on. When I started this painting, I thought I was only going to do like some quick version of it. And as I always do, I end up just geeking out, I'm just going crazy and doing a fully detailed piece. I wonder how fast the chats are coming in. I always look back and I don't know if uh, if there's a delay or not.
All right, guys, give me just one second. I'm gonna share that I'm live really quick on Facebook. Just give me just a second here. On Instagram. Gotta make the link. Bear with me for a minute. I do this beforehand, but I don't really know how to do it yet. Here we go. Make sure my volume's down. I think I just posted it. There we go. Let me turn airplane mode back on so you guys don't get notifications the whole freaking time. fun when I do these little like um, whisker like I don't know the, the little hairs the little mustache hairs they're so chaotic like there's so much going on I almost have to just like zoom in and, and kind of pretend it's not hair at all it's just some shapes that I'm mimicking it can get overwhelming if you think of it like that Thank you. Yeah, I just got started on the detail on the nose. Um, yesterday I did it. And then we got a couple more layers. It's, I'm probably gonna go pretty nuts with it as far as details concerned. It's just a matter of getting there. I'm not really in a rush. I'm just, you know, we got the COVID-19 thing going on. So no reason to hurry on anything. So I'm just kind of 
leisurely painting. Boy, these hairs are just a ton of work. So, as I mentioned earlier, tomorrow I'm going to be doing a Q&A um, for my patrons. Um, so... If you're on my Patreon page and you have some questions for me or if you have something that you'd like me to help you work through um, painting-wise or just general art, um, join my Patreon page and you'll have a live Q&A tomorrow and I will actually do specific lessons tailored to the people that are asking questions. So if you're having issues with your airbrush or paint or whatever the case might be, uh, I'll, I'm reserving that time for those types of questions. So I can just sit down and help you through. Or maybe you're, you're in one of those funks where you can't figure out how to get past where you are in your painting. Um, I'll help you with that. General critiques or whatever. So if you want, you can send me like photos of your work if you want me to talk about them and help you through it, that sort of thing. We're going to do that tomorrow. And we don't have a solid, solid schedule yet of types like things like that but we're building a schedule so faith is keeping track of all that um and uh she's as it gets more certain how everything's gonna go going forward um she'll let me know and then i'm gonna you know just keep up with it but we're definitely trying to keep live streaming a lot more and um we're probably gonna have a lot more to talk about and all that. So we're gonna have microphones, lighting, we'll have different camera angles, all that good stuff coming up. But for right now, I'm just kind of painting and letting everyone know what, what, what we got planned. And, you know, not much of a production value, but I think it's probably pretty entertaining. What do we got here? Uh, Badass Art Studio, is that, is that what it says? Oh, Bait Art Studio, sorry, it's far away. Um, I hope I said that right. Uh, he says, what am I planning on doing for the future? We're actually, I have this, so I just, for those of you that don't already know, I just opened a tattoo studio in Florida uh, over in the Clearwater area. And uh, Faith and I own the studio, and so we finally are in a position where uh, we can call the shots as far as whether it's a half art studio or a half, you know, tattoo studio. So we, it's definitely a tattoo studio first and foremost, but we do have a large section in the corner that we're going to dedicate for doing live streams. And um, so we're going to get a full, like, little studio set up. And so that way every night I'll have multiple camera angles, microphones, um the whole bit. And we already have a lot of that gear. We just don't have some of the capture cards and things necessary uh, to make it work. So slowly but surely we're collecting things. Um, most stuff is sold out wherever you look because all the people that um, have to work from home now because of the virus, they bought up all like the webcams and everything. Like webcams are like gold right now. Like if you guys have webcams, you could probably make a little fortune on them or sell them for a very reasonable price to me <laughs> but yeah um so it's really hard to get anything like i went all over amazon every walmart everything trying to find just one decent webcam we were looking at a logitech webcam that we wanted to get but um 
it ain't gonna happen for a while. I, I mean, we did find some that would take a minute to come in, and honestly, we have a tight budget right now because, again, the virus is keeping us from working. Because as you guys know, I, um, my main source of income has been tattoos for the past five years. And uh, I haven't been able to tattoo since this virus thing closed us all down. So um, on the bright side, it gave me time to airbrush again uh, a lot more. But uh, yeah. But it does, like I said, I've been saying in the in the stream so far, it, it did give me the opportunity because Faith and I have been wanting to start this back up again, the YouTube channel, for a very long time. And um, we just never could find the time to do it, you know, because when you tattoo all day long, you get kind of lazy and you don't want to do anything else. And um, plus we were traveling a lot and it just wasn't working out. But now uh, with the stay at home order and all that stuff, it pretty much gave us the time to do this. And we don't have to travel to the shop. We live at the shop. It, we have a um, very cool living situation right now. But We're hoping that because of our location for the tattoo studio, so the tattoo studio, I, I, you know, I don't want to say the specific location right now, but I mean, it wouldn't be too hard to find, but uh, it's called the Eden's Edge Tattoo, but um, it's kind of a tourist destination. And uh, so if you wanted to get a tattoo from me, I guess when all this is over, it's worth the, uh, it's worth the trip because we are right next to some of the most beautiful beaches in, uh, in the U.S. So like Clearwater Beach is right here, Honeymoon Island, all these great things. So it would be worth the trip if you wanted to come get a tattoo. Um, that's why we chose this area. We wanted to have a kind of a vacation destination, but still kind of a tight-knit um, tight group. Like we're not trying to get after any of the foot traffic or anything like that. We're just more for like a private studio that just happens to be in a really neat location. And it really, really is. There's a lot of like, people like to walk around and ride bikes and um, there's a lot of great breweries around. Some of the best breweries I've ever been to. Fantastic food here. The seafood is awesome. Fresh seafood. So it's just, that's why we chose it. Like, so a lot of people ask me like, am I ever gonna be in this place or that place? And it's really hard to travel uh, to everyone because you, nothing's better than your home studio you know as far as being prepared for for work and um uh so i i used to live in texas and everyone's like you know if they wanted to travel to me i'm like yeah get a hotel close and you know they're like well, what's to do around there i'm like i don't really know go to a, a live show i guess but you know but as far as like around dallas i mean it's just a city Whereas here, like I said, it's very much a vacation destination. So yeah, we would love to. If anyone wants a tattoo from me, I would love to. So um, if, you're, if you're willing to travel, or if you're local, just um, go to EdensEdgeTattoo.com and there's a client form there. And uh, submit your idea, what you're looking to do. And we'll make it work. And a bonus, if you get tattoo from me, I'll, you know, give you any advice you need on on airbrushing too. But again, speaking of airbrushing, 
I know I'm kind of repeating myself a lot, but uh, there's a lot of people that may have not heard yet that my Patreon page is what I'm reserving for like really intense airbrush lessons. Uh, we've got one already up. Uh, I did a full tutorial on my Patreon of my monochromatic um, airbrush work. So uh, I'll take a, just two seconds real quick and show you what I painted. And there's a full 30 part tutorial on my Patreon page where I go through every detail of how it, I, I did, did the painting. Just real quick. So there we go, let me see. It's in frame there. So this is the painting that I painted and we recorded it on a DSLR. So very, very detailed camera. And so you see everything that we did right there on Patreon. And we're making another one. I'm working on a mermaid one. As soon as this painting's done, uh, I'm gonna start working on another tutorial that's about um, uh, mermaids, really. Um, I haven't picked the uh, painting out yet, like this, what it's gonna look like, but as soon as I do, I'll let everyone know. And that's gonna be another full length tutorial. This painting here is just, a, you know, I'm just painting, you know, not doing a lot of tutorial work, just kind of demonstrating and kind of making stuff up really, just having fun. It's art for the sake of art. You know, I've done so many like really realistic pieces in the past and I think I always have more fun with this freehand stuff, the freestyle. Like, I, of course I'm copying a photo, but um, you know, with no planning, just kind of, you know, doing a painting. No tricks, no stencils, no pressure. Just whatever it is, is what it is. And then it's a piece of art. I always try to leave a little bit, like I, I let my hand movements kind of show through a lot when I paint. I, you know, I like to see those subtle uncontrolled bits, you know, the, the bits that just kind of just happen. Let's see if the chat's doing all right here. So it says top chat. Let me see if I live chat. Okay. I think I'm on live chat now, so.
So, where's everybody from? Post up where you're from. See where everybody's uh, watching the feed from. See, we've only got about eight people in here. Nine people, cool. Where are you guys from? I, I saw yesterday that I don't know some of your screen names on here, and then I saw that you guys had sent me private messages. Ontario, Canada, nice. Well, hello. I think you, you've been here for a while, huh? William Hall. Well, welcome. Denver, Colorado, Bade Art Studio. I love Denver. My buddy just opened a tattoo shop, so I used to work for Rebel Muse Tattoo in um, Dallas, Texas. I've been working there since we were just a very small private studio, and uh, we nearly opened this studio as a Rebel Muse, but we kind of wanted to do our own thing. And um, Anyway, so they opened a Rebel Muse 2, or a Rebel Muse Denver. It, it's opening right now, so... You should go see my friends. I will definitely be guest spotting at that studio quite often. Uh, Cause that's my, those are my people. That's my family right there. So my buddy, um, he, he, I used to work with at Rebel Muse Dallas. His name's Danny Elliott. He split off and he wanted to go closer to the mountains. So he opened Rebel Muse and he's opening it right now as we speak. So it's going to be fantastic. Danny is an amazing, amazing tattooer, and it looks like he's going to have a really nice crew up there. William says, yeah, he's watched all my videos. Thanks, man. I appreciate it. I love Denver, by the way. Yeah. And I'd like to visit Ontario. I I've never actually been to Canada. I've been close to Canada, but I've never been all the way in. I think the closest I've been, I've been to Detroit, right there against the water, right on the border. And I've been to, um, in fact, I'm going back here in a few weeks to uh, Portland, Oregon, and Vancouver, Washington. That's about as close as I've been. I've been to, um, I guess, Minneapolis, St. Paul. But yeah, but never all the way in. I could see Canada when I was in Detroit, because I was at the, um, I think it's the... What was it? I think it's a Dodge Chrysler, uh, like big building there. And uh, you could, and when you're right on the back of it, it's, it's right across the river or across the lake there. I've been about everywhere you can go in the U.S., but never really gone out of the U.S. too much. I, de I definitely have big plans to travel a lot um, outside the country. I get people a lot wanting me to go and teach at different places and then just there's no follow through. Like I've, I've had uh, people talk pretty s seriously about going to Russia, uh, Russia, Germany, and different parts of Europe, England, and um, like the UK area. And then, you know, we talk about it, talk about it. It looks like it's getting serious and then it just no nothing comes of it. I didn't know my head was all in there. What are you saying, Alex? Speak up, buddy. <laughs> I think Alex is going stir crazy being stuck in that. Stuck in the apartment for weeks. Or in the tattoo studio. Yeah. 
Yeah. That sucks. We're right by the water. Like, all the beaches are closed. We can't go to the beaches. We can't go on the boats. I guess we could go on the boats, but nobody is. And... Yeah. We're going nuts. Bade says he's uh, Jason Bade. All right. Uh, yeah, I will, for sure. I actually haven't added a single friend on Facebook in five plus years. I think because there for a minute I was collecting friends on Facebook, you know, just, you know, accepting everyone's friend request. And then my Facebook got so full of garbage. Not Not garbage people, but you know how it is when people are sharing all those, like, political things and all that stuff and it just got such a like I couldn't even get on Facebook anymore because it was just it was just riddled with hateful things and so uh, I just kind of stopped getting on there so I use my Facebook still for uh, communication but I, I definitely do not like get too deep into Facebook just because there's too many people sharing. Like, if you're on Facebook, you don't have to share every single bit of propaganda that you read. You know, you're not saving the world. You're just, you're just kind of making a mess of everybody's newsfeed. That's why I went to Instagram. Uh, because Instagram, I could follow who I wanted to follow, which are a bunch of artists. And... Uh, and that's it. And artists post pictures of their artwork. The end. They're not. I mean, I, I still think there's a few people that still post a lot of propaganda or whatever. But I don't know. I'm not in it for that. And you know what's funny? The people that post the most are my local friends from back home that I grew up with. They're the ones that post the most, like, propaganda, hateful things. People bickering and fighting with each other. And then the worst part is, is they argue. Like, they argue the whole time. So, like, I used to post my personal thoughts on Facebook and until I saw that people were actually reading them and arguing about them. And I never meant to start an argument. I just had a, a thought. I posted it up. And then next thing you know, boom, it's this way out of proportion thing. And so I just decided never again. I just won't post. I don't share. I, I can't tell you how many times I've gone to share something on Facebook. Like, I'll click on it. I'll go to share it. And then I'm like, nah, fuck that. And then I delete it. I'm like, I don't want to talk about this. Like, I'm interested in this right now, in this very second. And then here in a minute, I won't be. I don't want to start a whole argument on Facebook with everybody. Just because of some stupid opinion. Bade says he hears me. He keeps all his art, uh, all, all his posts art related. Definitely you should. I mean... I guess everyone said I could take the time and clean up my Facebook. I, I just haven't. It hasn't been worth my energy. I will say, though, if you follow me, on, follow me on Instagram, I'm way, way more active on Instagram than I am on Facebook. Especially when it comes to my art and sharing where I'm visiting and that sort of thing. And a lot of people want me to you know, look at their art, and I'm, I'm more likely to see it there and things like that. And also the Patreon page. That one you're guaranteed to get. You know, I'll look at it and all that. But, um, and you know, I know I know we're talking about visiting. Um, but, yeah, I'd, I, I, I'd say that I'd add you, but I, I, I don't even look that direction anymore. So if you follow me on Instagram, that would be awesome. I do check my Instagram messages a lot. In fact... After these streams, I have noticed, like, when I go back upstairs, um, everybody, like, I'll, I'll go through and I'll read the different messages that you all have sent me. Um, so I'm more active on about reading my messages on Facebook now, now that I started streaming. But I do try to stay away from there. It's toxic.
And I don't do a very good job at ignoring it. Like my girlfriend makes fun of me because I, I read all those tabloids when I'm standing in the line, like just the headlines when you're standing at the grocery line. She likes to pick on me and say that you're, you know, you say you don't care. And I'm like, well, it's right in front of me. I'm reading it. Like I care right now, this very second, because it's, what else? It's, it's there. It's there to be read. I read it. Always comment on it like I care to. Like, ooh, such and such has a new girlfriend. Such and such has a new boyfriend. Oh, did you know they broke up? Like I, uh, like I, I could care right there in that moment. Hmm, that's something I might bring up in conversation later. Bade says he's following. Good, good. Thank you. I will definitely post when I'm in um, Denver again. And when I am, you should hit me up. I wanted to travel to Denver all the time. Faith and I have taken our RV to Denver a few times now. And then I have a friend there that I visit quite often. And usually it's just in and out. He's my he's my dentist, and um, he's also uh, an artist too. And um, so when I get dental work done by him, I always like I get in in the morning. He works on me, and then I make sure I get a late flight out. So I'll go up in the mountains, like I'll go into Boulder or Golden, and um, I'll try to get a hike in or something before I have to get on a plane and come home. So it's always cool when like I'll leave in the morning fly to Denver, get my dental work done, and get in a hike and be home that same night and uh, sleep in my own bed. <laughs> and at that time, I was living in Dallas. I'm sure it'd be a little more difficult now from Florida, a little further away. But I am coming back to Dallas very soon, too, because i got to finish a bunch of clients there. I know they've been patiently waiting on me, and I feel very guilty. So I had plans to go to Dallas and finish my clients there, and then the COVID thing started and uh, put, a, put a stop to that. So as soon as COVID's done, i got to go to Dallas. I also got to go to Portland, like I said before. But... Well, I'll look for you, babe, when I get back on uh, Instagram later. I'm terrible, terrible, terrible with, like, names and stuff, so please don't get mad if I am bad about that. I'm really good with, like, faces. I'm especially good with your artwork. Like, I remember artwork better than I remember faces and names and things like that. Or like I'm good at like remembering the the avatar or whatever, the little you know, the little square in the corner. I remember those really well. Like it's funny, I'll go to SEMA and people will be like, you know, they'll talk to me and they'll say their real name. And I'll I'll be hanging out with them forever and not even realize, oh, they're that person that because they'll usually have their company name as their Facebook name or whatever, and then I'll realize, oh, you're that, oh, okay. And then I'll feel bad because it, I, I feel like I should have known it the whole time, I guess. I'm getting close to wanting to add some, uh, you want to add some, ochres in there, some oranges, and let's see what we got here. I'm gonna have to dump this color. And make sure I'm good and done with it. I 
Actually, I could use some up here. Where, where's it, where are we focused? Let me go ahead and move this up. I'm gonna work a little bit on the head. Right around there. Sorry, it's gonna be bouncy for a second. I'm adding a little reducer to my paint so I can work a little slowly. Well, as I was saying in the previous uh, feeds, I, I actually haven't, I don't think that I can recall ever painting a dog like this ever. Or a full color animal. Not that I can think of. I, I did do a, that bird, the eagle and flag video that you guys saw. Um, I can't recall ever doing a full color pet or animal portrait before. So this is a lot of fun, kind of a learning experience for me. I usually stick to the human portraits. So right now I'm just kind of building the background tones up before I add the color on top. this was like a customer work or customer job or something like that, and I had a deadline, I probably would have been done with it in a day and a half or so. I would have just kept working on it. But I've been, I've been reserving when, the time that I work on it just for when I'm streaming so you guys can see the whole, the whole painting.
Bill says the cash button isn't working. I have no clue why. It says retracted. Man, Bill, I really have no clue why. Maybe I didn't properly set it up yet. I was trying to mess with it, but it was hard to navigate. I, I know in the future I'm going to have it done a lot better. Like I'm going to have it figured out. But for right now, I really have no clue. Usually Faith's down here helping me, but she's working on, uh, she's making us some, some of those COVID masks right now so we can go out in public and not worry about infecting anyone. So she's upstairs sewing. She was trying to use some of the masks, masks that we already had, like the ones that we use for, you know, painting cars and whatnot, like the, um, the ones you get from Coast Airbrush that, that kind of, kind of cool looking, but she wears glasses and it just didn't work. So she has to make our own. So she's upstairs working on that right now. Otherwise, I'd ask her to to see if she could mess with it. So, but thanks for the gesture, Bill. I, I wish I could make that work. I don't know. It's a bummer. It says super chat is unavailable. Let me see something real quick. I'm gonna mess with this real quick, guys. Give me just a second. Super chat unavailable. Man, I don't know. I, I know that I set it up, but I don't know why. Maybe I didn't finish some part of the setup. I'm gonna get it figured out one of these days. Thank you very much though. I think once we get all the other gear here and we have everything set up, because right now I'm doing everything through my phone, and uh, once we have it all set up with the can with the computer and everything, we're gonna have, you know, we'll, we'll have all this stuff figured out. I appreciate it. Like right now, we're just like I said again, we're just kind of, you know, just kind of playing with it, seeing how it goes. And so far, it's going really well. Like I really appreciate everybody tuning in and, and telling me how much they appreciate this because the more you guys like what I'm doing, the more I, I, I'll do it, you know? Um, so I really, really, really appreciate it. I, I love to paint and I love to share and I love, love, love this to afford the time to do it. You know, you know how it is when you, when you got life going and you, you got other things you have to focus on and some things like this, you just kind of have to put to a side. Again, that's why I have that Patreon going. So I do have the Patreon for now. And then I'm going to add to it with the Super Chat. And um, yeah, we'll get it all figured out. And a lot more entertaining things like 
you know, Faith, when she's, you know, in the future, Faith might sit down here with me and we'll talk about certain topics and, and you know, that way it's just, you know, a lot more entertaining. And I could probably have guests, like I have a lot of artist friends. Uh, like I know Corey St. Clair is going to come at some point in time and we'll sit and chat and paint together and do it live. And my buddy Mondo, or Art by Mondo, he'll, he'll probably hang out with us. So we have some cool stuff uh, planned. It'll just keep getting better and better. The more you guys support it, the better this, this type of thing is going to get. Like, we'll probably do it, you know, in the future, we'll probably go a little more, like, uh, podcasty with it, where I'm painting, but we actually have, you know, topics and, you know, different things to talk about. Yes, like I said. Um, I, like I said, I was, I was kind of daydreaming about it today. I was thinking about adding my um, tattoos into it. So when I tattoo my buddy Alex back here, and when I tattoo Faith, um, I'll live stream it, and I'll be able to talk like this. Like, with my regular clients, it would probably not be so cool with them if I sit here and chat it up the whole time like this but uh but with those guys it'd be cool and if you guys ever come down and you want to get tattooed um and you want to be on the live stream i'd be more than happy to do that when it's when it's just us in here you know and and uh we're not disturbing any of the other clients who's my mom she must not know that i'm live streaming No, my mom, she probably saw that I was live streaming and she was like, oh, I gotta call him. <laughs> I'm watching you right now. Yeah, it went black. Well, I think the live stream is killed. <laughs> 